What's up everybody, Dean Ellis again from Dartech um, continuing on with our article options tutorials and this uh, time in this tutorial we're going to go on with the categories uh, tab. Now this relates to the menu that has a list in it. So um, I've gone to a our menu area okay, and I've actually got a, a menu item type of a list all categories okay um, and the reason I wanted to show that to you is when we go into here list all categories okay it shows our list of of uh, our categories here okay and that's just the uh, that is what the categories tab uh, is going to affect okay um, so we'll get straight into it um, now the top level category description before uh, I show you how, how this works, the top level category description is a selection that you make out of your menu, out of your menu type. Okay, so we can have our top level category, top level category being anything we like in here. Okay, and it will show the description of whatever is under these categories. Now, if you choose the root category uh, for any text to show you need to fill out the top level category description in the menu section okay now bear in mind also that if you have text in this field here it will override any uh, text you have in your categories description okay so any text that goes in here will override whatever you have as uh, the description so um, say for example if your Joomla template Joomla tutorials category was a top level category and that's the text for it. Okay. If you had it, uh, if you had the, where is it? If you had this in this field here on your menu, um, this would show, and not your not your description in your category. So this overrides the global configuration, the global settings. Okay. And there you can see uh, with the top level category description uh, shown, there's where it appears right there. So that's how that one works. Now we'll just hide that. Okay, the subcategory levels um, deals with the levels that you have in your categories here. Um, so if, if we set that to say five and refresh the page, all right, what you see is a big orange button appear to categories that have subcategories. So when you click on it, they expand down to whichever level you want it to stop at. Okay, and we've got all five, so it goes down to the five level five. Now, if we wanted that to go to, uh, say, only level two, when we click on the button, you see it only goes you down to the next next level down. You can't expand it any further. Okay, so that restricts how many, how far down you can uh, drill into your categories. Okay, empty categories. This works the same as the uh, category option, empty categories. All right, it'll it won't show any categories that have no articles in them. All right, that means that uh, so unless unless the category has an article in it, it won't show. All right, so we can we can hide them um, because you don't want a link to go nowhere. And when an article does go into that category, it will then appear in this list. So notice that we have a couple of categories here that don't have any articles in them. When I refresh the page, let me just save it. Notice only one one category then appears, okay, and it's hidden the rest until you write an article and put it place it place that category place into that category. Okay, subcategory descriptions basically that um, hides the description here of the uh, the category. So we save that and go save. Okay, notice it disappears. Um, the articles in the category that is basically the number. That you see in the article count, and we can show and hide that ourselves. Okay, save that, and number disappears. Okay, and that, that's it for this tutorial. Short and sweet. Um, hope you liked it. Hope you got something out of it. Uh, as much as I enjoyed learning about it and uh, figuring out how it all works. Okay, uh, if you like this tutorial, please hit the like button uh, and subscribe to the channel if uh, you want to get any more updates on when I uh, publish more on this uh, topic. Uh, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.